Welcome to Global Hub Updates. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Tensions are rising in the West Philippine Sea, with daily reports of standoffs and close encounters. The Philippine Coast Guard is making a bold move, acquiring a new 60-meter multi-role response vessel. This isn't just another ship, it's a statement of intent. Imagine a sleek vessel cutting through the waves, the Coast Guard seal gleaming on its hull. For the Coast Guard, this is a vital tool on the front lines, where they face larger, more aggressive vessels. Tailor-made for the West Philippine Sea, it's fast enough for emergencies and large enough for a steady presence. This is about upholding international law and showing the flag in a complex environment. The new vessel is more than hardware. It's a symbol of a nation's will to protect its future. This is the story of a new sentinel on the horizon, and it's only just beginning. The 60-meter multi-role response vessel, or MRRV, is a game-changer for the Philippine Coast Guard. It's not just a patrol boat. It can rescue, enforce laws, and respond to disasters. The MRRV signals the Philippines' commitment to protecting its exclusive economic zone. With endurance for long patrols and agility for quick response, it fills a crucial gap. The future of maritime security starts with ships like this. To see why the new MRRV matters, look at the current fleet. The Coast Guard has small, fast boats for coastal work, great for rescues, but limited in range and endurance. At the other end are large offshore patrol vessels, like the 84 and 97-meter ships. These are powerful, but expensive, and can't be everywhere at once. The new 60-meter MRRV bridges the gap. It's a step up from small boats, with the endurance for rough seas and long patrols. It can operate in places like Scarborough Shoal, where smaller boats struggle. Yet it's more affordable and flexible than the largest ships allowing for more to be built and deployed. This creates a layered, persistent presence across the West Philippine Sea. The fleet's evolution is clear, from coastal defense to a true maritime agency. The 44-meter Parola class was a start, but challenges have grown. The 60-meter MRRV is the next step, connecting the dots in a balanced fleet. It's a cost-effective solution that enhances both small and large ship capabilities. The result, a cohesive modern patrol force for the 21st century. The Coast Guard is no longer limited by size or range. With the MRRV, it's ready for bigger ambitions. The journey from small boats to a balanced fleet is well underway. The way the Philippines is acquiring this ship is just as important as the ship itself. Through a competitive tender, both local and international shipbuilders are invited to submit their best designs. This ensures the country gets the best ship at the best price, driving innovation and transparency. For the first time, Philippine companies are encouraged to participate, with a preference for local construction. This is a huge boost for the domestic shipbuilding industry, challenging local firms to step up and partner with global experts. Winning the contract means jobs, investment, and new skills for Filipino workers. It's about building a sustainable, self-reliant defense industry. International partners bring expertise and technology transfer, raising local capabilities. The knowledge gained stays in the country, laying the foundation for future projects. This isn't just about buying a ship. It's about empowering a nation to build its own maritime future. The tender process marks a turning point for Philippine industry and sovereignty. Building these ships locally is a massive economic win. If a Philippine shipyard secures the contract, it injects capital into the domestic economy and supports a wide supply chain. Local steel, electronics, and countless small businesses benefit, creating a powerful economic multiplier. The project generates high-quality jobs for naval architects, engineers, and skilled technicians. It encourages young Filipinos to pursue technical careers, investing in the nation's future. Building vessels locally also means greater self-reliance and less dependence on foreign suppliers. The country gains the ability to maintain and upgrade its own fleet, a strategic advantage. Success in this project 
could elevate the Philippines as a regional shipbuilding leader, opening doors to exports. Defense spending becomes a strategic investment in industry and prosperity. This approach links national security directly to economic growth. The MRRV project is a visionary step for both security and the economy. Step aboard the 60-meter MRRV and you'll find a robust advanced ship. With a top speed of 20 knots and long-range endurance, it can patrol remote areas for weeks. A helicopter deck extends its surveillance reach, while modern radar and communication systems keep it connected. Its missions are diverse, maritime patrol, law enforcement, search and rescue, and disaster response. The ship can launch inflatable boats for boarding operations and is equipped for self-defense. It's also a vital asset for humanitarian missions, delivering aid and conducting rescues during typhoons. Environmental protection is part of its role, with equipment for oil spill response. As a command platform, it coordinates with other ships and shore centers in real time. The MRRV is a nerve center at sea, gathering and sharing critical information. It's built for flexibility, ready for any challenge in Philippine waters. This ship is the Coast Guard's new multi-mission workhorse. The 60-meter MRRV fills a crucial gap in the Coast Guard's fleet. Small boats handle inshore work. Large vessels patrol the farthest reaches. But the vast middle zone needs a ship that's just right. This is where the MRRV excels. It forms the middle layer in a layered defense, patrolling contested areas like Reed Bank and Scarborough Shoal. The MRRV's persistent presence makes sovereignty real, day in and day out. By freeing up larger ships for strategic missions, the fleet becomes more efficient. This balanced, flexible structure is a best practice among leading navies. The MRRV's introduction shows the Coast Guard's growing strategic sophistication. It's not just about acquiring ships, but building a fleet tailored to the nation's needs. The 60-meter MRRV is the perfect fit for the Philippines' unique maritime challenges. It's a smart, strategic addition to the fleet. The Philippines isn't modernizing alone. It's leveraging global partnerships. France is a key ally, with French shipbuilders already delivering advanced vessels like the Gabriela Silang. French expertise in aluminum-hulled patrol ships makes them strong contenders for the new MRRV. Past collaborations have included not just ships, but training and technology transfer. This comprehensive support ensures the Coast Guard gets the most from its assets. Building the new MRRVs locally with French partners could accelerate technology transfer and skill development. The Philippines is also deepening ties with the US, Japan, Australia, and Europe. These partnerships strengthen regional security and uphold international law. The French connection is a model for how smart alliances can rapidly boost maritime capabilities. By working together, the Philippines and its partners are shaping a more secure Indo-Pacific. Strategic partnerships are key to the nation's maritime future. The 60-meter MRRV is more than steel and electronics. It's a symbol of progress. It marks the Coast Guard's evolution into a modern, capable maritime force. Each new ship from Parola class to the 97-meter giants has been a step forward. The MRRV fills a vital role, making the fleet more effective and resilient. A stronger Coast Guard means safer waters for Filipino fishermen and better protection of marine resources. The Philippines can now assert its rights in the West Philippine Sea through lawful, persistent presence. This vessel is a sign of growing confidence and proactive strategy. It's a building block for a fleet that can safeguard the nation's vast maritime domain. The story is one of self-reliance, partnerships, and resolve. As these new sentinels take their place, they carry the hopes of a nation. The Philippines is ready to stand guard over its waters, today and for generations to come. The future of the West Philippine Sea is being shaped, one ship at a time.